got meekness. They wanted royalty, but they got poverty. They wanted something else, but they got meekness. Who is this? The disciples brought the axe, and the disciples, not having a saddle, laid their coats on it. They gave Jesus the best that they had. Brothers and sisters, we must not think the clothes on our backs too dear to part with. Give it for the service of Christ. They did not object, for the Lord had need of it. Some of the people with him even put their cloaks and clothes in the path of Jesus. We ought not think too much of what we have. When it comes to giving it to Jesus, we ought to be happy. Sometimes we fail to understand that when we give him what we have, Jesus will give it back to us fourfold. Yeah. Those that take Christ as their king must lay their all at his feet. Yeah. Not some of it, but all of it. Yeah. That is why the crowd laid their garments in the way, acknowledging Jesus as their Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. their Lord of Lords, and their King of Kings. Mm -hmm. Others cut down palm branches and laid them in the path of Jesus. The crowd that was with Jesus went before him and behind him. It was a procession of praise, shouting Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They wave palm branches. Every now and then we ought to feel like we can wave something to say thank you. Yeah. We ought to feel like we owe something of ourselves and we ought to be willing to give something of ourselves because somebody knows that the Lord made a way. Yeah. When you need him most, he was right there. When you couldn't figure out for yourself how to overcome, he stepped right in, right on time, and he made a way out of no way. I wonder, do I have a witness in here this morning? I wonder, do you know what I'm talking about? You don't have to admit it, but you ought to be able to say, yeah, I know what he's talking about. He brought me Yeah, right along the way. Thank you, Jesus. We owe you all the praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Mm. Hosanna in the heights mm -hmm. means save now. Mm -hmm. We beseech thee. We recognize that you are from the lineage of David. We recognize this kingly lineage. This lineage that Amos spoke of. This lineage that Isaiah spoke of. The lineage that Jeremiah spoke of. David said in Psalm 118 and 25 and 26, All nations shall call him blessed. Let him have a name above every other name. A throne above every other throne. I don't know about you, but I get happy when I start to think what the Lord has done in my life. Yeah. He's deserving of the highest name. Yeah. He's deserving yeah. of my praise and thanksgiving. Yeah. I don't have to be proud in myself. Mm. I've got a Savior that will step in, yeah. make a way, yeah. and sometimes I don't even know he's done it till I look back and see what he did for me. Somebody ought to be a witness to that. You ought to raise your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. You were right there when I needed you most. Give him the praise he's truly worthy of. And he'll give you another reason to praise. Give him the glory that he deserves. And he'll cause you to have something else the glory of God. Yes, preach now. It's all right. 
as Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem, mm. the whole city was stirred and asked, who is this? The crowd with Jesus answered, he is the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The brothers and sisters, today if you have to ask, who is this? <clears throat> then you don't know who woke you up this morning. <laughs> you don't know who started you <laughs> on your way. If you have to ask, who is this? You don't know who gave you the use of your limbs. You don't know who put clothes on your back. You don't know who gave you food to eat. If you have to ask, who is this? You don't know him. But I wonder, do you know him? You know, you, you say you know him, but do you really know him? But there's some folk, if you were to ask them, they would say, I know him for myself. Oh, yes. Because he spoke to a woman at a well at Samaria. Mm -hmm. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes. He brought Lazarus back from the dead. Yes. He gave blind Bartimaeus his sight while on the way to Jerusalem. I believe Bartimaeus can tell you that I know him because I saw him when I was blind. Yeah. But he came and gave me right. my sight. Yes, yes. I can imagine there were 10 lepers <laughs> who he healed of the leprosy while he was on the journey to Jerusalem. And if you ask them, they'll say, look at my skin. Mm -hmm. He right. healed my body yes, when yes. I needed him most. Yes. I wonder, can you say you know him? Well, in Bethany, over the Sabbath, the Bible says Mary anointed his feet with oil. Mm -hmm. Do you have to ask, who is this? Mm -hmm. Jairus, who had a daughter resurrected from death by Jesus. I believe Jairus knows who he is. A man by the name of Legion, who came back from being crazy, now knows who Jesus is. I wonder, do you know who he is? If you were in a situation, would you shout Hosanna? Would you shout glory? Would you ask, who is this? But brothers and sisters, if I had my way, I might have to get down from where I am. I'd have to let you know that you might not be willing to say that I know who Jesus is. Yes. But I stopped by to let you know that I know who he is. Yes. He saved my life. Yes. He enabled me to come back from a life that wasn't satisfactory to a life where he blessed me. To a life where he gave me a help me who's been right there with me. I'm so glad that I know who Jesus is. How many of you can raise your hand and say, I know it for myself. I know what he's done for me. I know where he brought me from. Somebody might have been sick and the doctors couldn't work it out, but he stepped in right on time. There is a physician who can fix every situation. Do you know who he is? I know. I know. I know who he is. What about you? Do you know who he is? Can you tell the world who he is? Can you smile? Say, when I needed him most, he was right there. <clears throat> when I didn't know where I was going, he was right there. 
And I was walking in darkness. He brought me to the marvelous light. Yes, yes. Don't ask me to tell you who he is. Because I had to get happy when I started telling you who he is. Yes, come on now. And what he's done. Yes, yes. For me. Amen. Who is this? His name is Jesus. Yes. Don't let anybody deceive you. His name. Brothers and sisters, the word has been shared. I pray that you receive a blessing, that you receive encouragement. But rather than to have you stand or to come down for the altar, I'm going to ask that once again everyone would close their eyes. That if you need salvation, the way to begin is to admit that I don't know Jesus like I should. And then, once you have admitted that, then you can begin to get to know who Jesus is. As you close your eyes, if there's anybody in here that needs Jesus in their life, wants to say thank you for what you've done for me, I encourage and invite you to stand where you are. All eyes closed. Is anybody who wants Jesus to draw nearer? Church, say amen. amen. Do you know who Jesus is? Yeah, I'm ready to go back to preaching again. Yes, I'm right. Not because of who I am or what I think I can do, but because of who Jesus is. Amen. To all my young people that are here, Thank God that your parents love you enough to bring you. Amen. We thank God that you have enough sense to say, okay, I'm going. <laughs> I know how it is for young people. They might say, well, mom, I'm supposed to be here to bed today. Mm -hmm. And I hope daddy jacked you up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cruel world we live in. Mm -hmm. Like 
I go smoke in Jerusalem. Who is this? But my hope and prayer is that all of us can go out and tell somebody this week that we know who Jesus is. Amen. Amen. You want to know. We can tell you what we know about it. And it will begin to change lives. Amen. To God be the glory. I do want to say that for those who perhaps have not made their gifts and their offerings, that uh, our stewards are making some adjustments and we're making adjustments. But if you have not placed your offering in the baskets, we're not going to have a formal situation where we come down as customary until we get back to the full service and the full activity that we are historically accustomed to. But if you have gifts that you'd like to give, uh, someone will be at the door to receive them uh, if you have not given to them. And we thank you in advance for supporting the North Metropolitan Church family. Amen?